Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through kind of a beginner's guide or a tutorial on how to use a lot of the basic functions of your Android tablet. Now, I'm going to make the assumption that you've already gone through the initial setup phase. If you need help setting up your Android tablet, I'll have a separate video on how to do that linked right at the top of the video description if you need to check that out first. But once you're into your device, we're on the home page. One of the really useful functions of an Android tablet is using the Google search bar. You just select this and in the Google search, you can use it just like you would at google.com. You can search for anything and everything in Google. It's a really helpful resource. You're also going to have your apps on the homepage here. A lot of the important ones will just automatically show up right on your homepage and you can scroll back and forth between your pages to see all of your different app icons. Now, if you know you have an app or you're interested in seeing all the applications that are on your Android tablet, well, what you do at that point is scroll up from the bottom of the screen, and then that will list every single app that you have on your device. So particularly if you download an app and you can't find it on your homepage, it should show up in this area. So then I'm gonna click the back button here, and that's also something to point out here where we have the back button, we have this little icon in the middle, and when you click that, it's going to take you to the home page, which I'm currently on. And then just to the left of the home button is this button right here, which is going to open up all of your applications that are currently open on your device. So you can see I have a couple of different settings applications opened up and you can get rid of them if you want, or you can select them and it will take you to that particular page. But going back to the home screen, another important thing to note is scrolling down from the top area is going to open up your notifications. And if you scroll down again, you're going to have all of these icons and they're either going to be turned on or off. So you can see, for instance, like my Wi-Fi is blue, so it's turned on. My sound is on. My Bluetooth is on. The rotate screen option is on. My location is on. And there's other options in here as well that you can turn on and off in this area. And this is also going to be the area where you're going to have this little gear and it's right next to the power button. And when you click on that, it's going to open up your settings page. And there's just a ton of different options that you're going to have to customize your device in your settings page. The really important one is obviously making sure that you're connected to Wi-Fi and then also potentially connecting to different Bluetooth devices, things such as that. But the different options that you have here are pretty endless. And this video, it would be way too long to go through every single one of these different settings options, but just to kind of familiarize yourself with the different options that you have in here. And Android tends to do a pretty good job of laying things out so it's easy to understand. Like if you want to change your display, well, that's going to be in the display tab. Or if you want to change your password on the lock screen, that's going to be in the lock screen tab. And you go on from there. We can see if we want to see all the different applications, we can click the apps button. And then in this area, it just gives you more information about all of your particular applications and also the ones that you can uninstall. You can do so in this area by selecting them and going through the options of those particular apps. But there's also a lot of applications that come standard on your Android device that you can't get rid of. So that is also something to keep in mind. So going back to the home page, another really important thing is the Google Play Store. This is going to be an app that allows you to search and download other applications that might not already be on your device. So if we open up the Google Play Store, you can go through and search for a specific application here in the top search bar. Or if you just want to browse through the different applications, you can look at the most popular applications, ones that are new, and then the list goes on from there. You, you can go through and browse those different categories. And as you can see at the bottom of the page, we're currently on the games tab, but let's just say we want to see the regular applications. And more often than not, unless you're really using your tablet to game, this is going to be the tab that you're probably more so looking for in terms of picking out apps that you're interested in. So we go over and you can click on the recommended tab. You can go to the top charts. And just to show you how this works, let's say I wanted to download Tubi TV, which is a free application. You just go ahead and open it up and then click install. And then it will go through the installation and download process. And once it's done downloading, it should show up either on one of your home pages or it'll be in your list of applications. So we'll wait for this to download and then I'll show you where I can find it at that point. All right, so now it's officially installed. So going back to the home page, and we can swipe through our screens and we see that it doesn't show up on any of our home pages. So then we swipe up from the bottom, and you can see there is the 2B TV application. It shows up right at the bottom of the page. The most recent applications that you download are going to show up at the bottom of this particular page. Let's say I wanted to put this icon on one of my home screens. So you just go ahead and hold your finger down on it. And then you can just drag and drop it to wherever you want it on one of your home screens. 
If your device has a camera, you can also open up the camera in this area and your gallery is going to be where all of your photos are stored that you take pictures of. And we also have our suite of Google applications right here. So if you have a Gmail, you can open it up with the Gmail application. You can use Google Maps, YouTube, Google Drive, some other different Google applications there as well. And that's all the stuff that I wanted to hit on in this video, walking through just a basic tutorial, beginner's guide on how to utilize your Android tablet. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing and I'll catch you back here next time.